Today I'm going to demonstrate how to make meringue cookies and you will get to use some different equipment and learn some different techniques. So this recipe calls for three egg whites and I've gotten four just in case I ruin one. Three fourths cup of sugar and then we're going to add just a drop of food coloring to make it pretty. You can make them any color you want or you can leave them white. So we're going to start. It calls for three egg whites. Now when you're making an egg white foam there cannot be any egg yolk in it at all, not one drop, not one speck. So there's a technique for dividing these eggs or separating these eggs so that you don't ruin them. So I'm going to just use little cups. You can use little bowls. Um, you could use whatever you need. So I'm going to crack the egg in there and let the egg quite drip through. Okay. And this egg white Oh, lost just a little bit of it. So there's one egg white. So I'm going to put that in the mixing bowl and I'm going to get rid of this egg yolk. And I don't have a garbage bowl, so I'm just going to put it there. Okay. So that one broke. I'm actually going to use a different um, separator for the next one. All right. So I'm going to crack the next one and I'm going to put it in here. So when you toss this into the uh, bowl, Thank you. Your egg white should be, per, or your egg yolk should be perfectly intact. There we go. So our egg yolk is perfectly intact. Okay. So now we know that this egg white is good. Now I'm going to add it to this one. Okay. So we'll get another one here. Oh, here. This one was fine. So we'll keep going. All right. If you look at this one, the egg yolk is broken. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's all broke. So by doing this in separate cups, I haven't ruined these two. These two are perfect. I cannot use the cup or this egg separator to do it again. All right. So I'm going to get um, a clean cup and a clean egg separator and try again. Okay, and this one is going well so far. You just have to let gravity do its thing to pull that egg quite through. And I'm just going to use my hand here. If you see, this egg yolk is still perfectly intact. Okay, so that is good. So now we have three egg, egg whites that have no yolk in them at all. Okay, so I have my sugar setting here. It's three quarters of a cup. And I wanted to review how to measure that. There are two different ways to measure it. One is to do a quarter cup three times. So a quarter cup, a quarter, and a quarter is three quarters. Or if you like to be a little bit more efficient, you can do a half cup and a quarter cup. All right, and to measure sugar, you scoop it and then you level it with a straight edge spatula. All right, so you wanna have that ready and handy to go. So egg whites, as you see, are kind of a yellowish tint and they're very runny. And what we're going to do is add air to them. Now this um, hand mixer only uses one attachment. Some of them use two, but this one only uses one. Okay. of making an egg white foam. This is the foamy stage. It looks like bubble bath to me, and it's just a bunch of bubbles. If I pick this up, it's still very, very liquidy. According to our recipe, we need to get to stiff peaks. So I'm hoping to stop it at soft peaks and then stiff to show you the difference. So we're 
we're going to take a look at this. And we're almost at soft peaks. We're still a little close to foaming. So to test the peaks, you pick this up, and you see that that fell over, okay? See the little, the little top of the mountain is falling over there. That means you're in soft peaks, okay? We need to get to stiff peaks, which means it's standing up like a, a firm mountain top, okay? Also, for those of you that are real observant, you're noticing that it's turning white, okay? And it's going to become a bright white because of the air we're adding to it. test it again and I'm going to pick it up in a few places and they see how nice and straight they're standing so we are at stiff peaks okay so now the instructions say to gradually add the sugar we're going to add it gradually if I dump all of this in there we're going to break all the air bubbles that we just put in there so we want to add it gradually Um, you also see, uh, if you can tell on the video, it's very shiny, and that's a quality that you want. It should be very shiny. Now, this is um, cake decorating gels. Your teacher may give you the liquid, or she may give you these type or a paste. Either way, this is a very small amount, so I am going to add one drop. So this is ready to put on the cookie sheet and bake. All right, so we have a cookie sheet. There are different ways to put this on the cookie sheet. One of the easiest that your teacher may prefer, you'll have to, they'll instruct you as to how they want you to do it, is to simply use a spoon and a knife where you put some on a spoon and you just drop it right onto there. So these you kind of they look more like clouds they're very they're not all perfectly shaped and that's perfectly fine some people will stir in coconut to their cookies or chopped nuts for this dump or for this lab we are having you do straight macaroons or meringue cookies they kind of taste like marshmallows that are a little drier okay so another way to do this is to use a frosting bag so depending on what's available to you, this is a disposable frosting bag. And I am going to fold back the top so that we don't get everything so dirty. Now granted, this, filling this is much easier to do with a partner. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to scrape it off with the edge of the bag. This makes a lot of cookies for you and your partner. Okay. All right, 
So I'm going to take the bag now with those clean edges and let it drop down. There we go. And I'm going to come up here and twist it. I haven't cut the end of it yet, so I don't need to worry about it flying out. So I'm just going to cut the end off of this. All right, so another option for doing this is to make like little kisses, you know, or little balls, and then you pick it up. So as you can see, these are a bit more uniform than just doing it with the spoon. Or you can make um, swirls. And the way to stop that is I stop squeezing and then I pick it up. So I stop squeezing and then I kind of pick it up. That was a big air bubble in the bag. There we go. Okay, and I'll just make a few more here real quick and we will pop them in the oven. So these actually have to bake in a very low oven. I think it's 225 for about 20 to 30 minutes. Your teacher will probably take these out of the oven for you because you probably won't be here. And the way you know they're done is they look kind of dry. So we'll be back when they're done. Okay, we're back and the cookies have baked. I have uh, put them all on a different sheet pan here. Um, so you can see these are dry. They peel right off and they're dry. They're not sticking to my hands at all. And then when you bake them, they're a little crumbly, but that is how they are supposed to be. And to, I really think they just taste like marshmallows that are a little dry on the outside. All right, have fun.